occasion I will be taking a look at the P8 Z77 WS motherboard by ASUS. Looking at the motherboard box, it comes in a black box, of course the white and the green letters denominating which product it is. Below we have some of the ASUS technologies that we actually get into in the review, so please read the review at hightechlegion.com. To the right here, or the left actually, we see that it is PCI 3.0 ready and you get a 50% graphics booth by using Generation 3 4-way SLI. It is also Crossfire and Fire Pro ready. It does, have, it does utilize Virtue MVP. You would have to install that software, but basically what that allows you to do is use the onboard graphics of your Ivy Bridge processor with a discrete video card, and it does a, quite a few things. You could utilize Quick, quick Sync to speed up your video transcoding, or you could utilize Virtue now and what it will do is it'll actually help you with your V-Sync and some tearing where it will offload some of the shader models off your discrete video card to the actual processor itself so when you hit that level where the frame rates uh, and the refresh rate are not meshing correctly and it does drop that you won't get that tearing while you're playing a game. It has DTS, Dolby DTS on it of course, this is a Z77 chipset. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. Of course, we have a picture of the motherboard here. Shows you that it does four way graphics, dual Intel LAN, Virtue MVP. This is actually a slide panel for the actual box. And on top of that slide panel, take this out of the way and on top of that you'll see that we do have other ASUS technologies on that. But let's go ahead and open the box and take a look inside. On top of this box is the actual accessories that come with the board. I'll take them out and we'll pull out the motherboard here. So let's go ahead and look at the accessories first and then we'll go over the motherboard. Of course we have our IO plate. For connectivity, we have a, a uh, expansion port, which has USB and FireWire. Three-way SLI bridge, or crossfire. Four-way bridge, for SLI. six SATA connectors SLI bridge or crossfire of course we have our easy connector for our front panel for our, our case plug in the front panel here plug that in no have to worry about you don't have to worry about digging your hands in there we have some more connectors, of course, uh, for for SATA and and a Molex serial port connector. And finally, our user's guide with the driver disk inside of it. So let's take a look at the motherboard itself. As you can see we have some nice heat sinks going around. They are connected via heat pipe. 
eight pin power connectors up here to the top. We have two CPU, uh, CPU fan headers. We also have another fan header to the, to the left. An extra power connector. 24 pin power connector. We have our TPU switch here for an instant instant uh, overclock on the or performance tune on the board. One click, shut shut your computer down, click it up. You'll get a pre uh, a pre uh, determined tune via what Asus put into their algorithm on the board. We have a USB 3.0 header and. Let's go ahead and take a look at our SATA ports. These two SATA ports as media driver with that. And basically this is for the ASUS SSD caching. Then we have our native Intel SATA 6. Then we have SATA 3s here. Going to the bottom of the board, of course we have a debug. And this switch here is the EPU switch for power saving mode. We have a, a USB B port that is actually on the motherboard. You can actually stick a USB stick to that. More connection headers, a power switch and a reset switch. One, two, three, four for the quad, X, quad SLI. This is actually the extra switch to enable that. We have two PCI EX1 slots. Turning the board over, we're looking at the rear I.O. This is for sound, 8 channel sound. Dual Intel Gigabit LAN. This is, again, an Ivy Bridge processor, so of course we do have the DVI output. We have our back to BIOS, clear CMOS, USB 2.0 ports, one and two, Firewire, and then more USB 2.0. Looking at the board upside down, we can see that we have some fairly nice heat sinks. And something that I missed is up to 32 gigabytes of DDR2 dual channel RAM. You have four DIMM slots here. The back of the motherboard. Of course you have your socket plate. And you can see you have some fairly heavy screws which are actually holding the heat sinks in. So this has been our quick overview of the ASUS P8Z77WS motherboard. For the full review, please visit www.hitechlegion.com. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.